It was great to see all the positive feedback, and thanks so much for tuning in. So for those of you that are new, my name is Rachel, and I'm a marketer on the Generations line. And I'm joined today with another Transformers designer and a huge Transformers fan himself, Mark. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I'm Mark. I'm a product designer for Transformers. So we're going to see what Mark. these reveals are you about. Know, he's such a hardcore fan that he actually has a tattoo of the Decepticon logo. Right over my heart. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a fun show planned for you guys today. But before we start with the new reveals, we wanted to get ahead of an issue you've all been talking about in regards to Gen Select's Rotostorm. So we heard you, the head uh, was incorrect. We're very sorry about the mix up, uh, but we are happy to announce that this issue was corrected at the first engineering pilot. Sweet. So the correct head will be included on all production figures as seen okay, here in now the images. I want it. That's right, folks. The only airborne Turbo Master has his IDW look. That's you cool. You know you want those glossy pink visors right there. That thing is so <laughs> sweet. Love that head. Okay, I wasn't going to get awesome. it with the so, uh, If you haven't done so head, already, like make head. your way to okay. HasbroPulse.com or other fan retailer sites to pick up Gen Select's Rotostorm. Sweet. And just announced this week, another Transformers collaboration. We have Transformers and Top Gun. This came out awesome. I actually ended up doing uh, some of the Tampo label artwork for the helmet, going back and forth with the licensor. But, I mean, <laughs> this thing comes with the volleyball. You I cannot. It. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I love how the deco came out on the helmet, like that, that red visor with the glossy hit. Looks beautiful. The tampo printing, all the, the new uh, format printing that we have for uh, a lot of the production stuff is is looking really great. It gives the one thing such I don't a nice really weathering like about effect. This is like the, the figure jet. didn't have a lot of color such to it. Yeah, guys, this is uh, kind of available bland. now for pre order on Hasbro Pulse, so get yours while supplies last. Now, uh, Mark, we're 13 days away from the War for Cybertron Siege uh, premiering on Netflix. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. Um, me too. We hope you all enjoyed the official trailer that was just released last week. If you happen to miss it, check it out on our Transformers official Instagram page. And to celebrate uh, the Siege premiere, we have a new t-shirt reveal. Wait, what? I like that. That's pretty hey, cool. I didn't get one of these. Yeah, me too. I need one. All right. I'm going to have to harass somebody for one of these. The <laughs> illustration on this t shirt is absolutely amazing. I've been That's admiring the, uh, all the illustrations on, the on the all the packages on for the Siege line. Siege. It's just really mind blowing. It's really great to check out all the characters, seeing what they're doing. It's kind of like, you know, little Easter eggs as to what's going to happen in the show. I, I am so excited for the show. I, I actually still haven't read the script, so I'm going to be very, very excited for it. <laughs> <Mark. laughs> so this t-shirt uh, is coming soon on Hasbro Pulse, so make sure you check back uh, to get yours. So let's move on to the first reveal. We have Wave 2 of the Netflix collection. Yes! Okay. Uh, we are so stoked to see that you guys have loved Wave 1 of the Netflix collection, available now at Walmart in the U.S. You can see um, all of Wave 1 here up on the screen. There's five new deluxe figures, two Voyager 3-packs, and an unboxing item. So if you haven't gotten these uh, um, Netflix collection Wave 1 items, make sure you head to your local Walmart and check Walmart, them out. These are Walmart exclusives. Shout out to Mario and Christina on that packaging. That packaging is so nice. Yeah, I love like so the red and white. It really really too. ties okay. into Netflix and stands out. It's awesome. Really cool. Um, so this collection features series-inspired versions of all our favorite characters from the show, which is premiering on July 30th. Um, so now that we've reminded you of Wave 1, let's jump into Wave 2. We okay. have five new deluxe figures to share with you today, and the first is a fe fearless and powerful female warrior. Let's check out the Netflix 3D character turn. 
a big shout out to Polygon oh, one. and Rooster Teeth on the collaboration for this animation. So this She's Alita one, one, as you can it. see, is her classic G1 form. I mean, you, the colors on her are oh, perfect. I'm so excited. I, she's giving me some serious RC vibes here. I cannot wait to see her in action right next to Optimus and see what the story is. Moving on to her, her toy, the toy that we got cooked up for you is, is something <laughs> No, she's a remold here. of RC. It's a partial off of the RC mold, but, I mean, the partial parts make her completely different. She has the translucent weapon, and she also has the half of the car that could be the hovercraft. But the chest huh. and the head and those those few front oh, fender parts like on the front hood, those are all but new. That looks and good. She, she just looks so gorgeous in her G1 form. I've been waiting for an Alita 1 figure for a long time. I know we did that Voyager uh, back, go on my, back my in the Power Netflix of Primes, show. I think it was, or the Titan War days. But this one really, really scratches my G1 itch. Uh, so the next deluxe figure we have for you guys is a skilled mechanic, none other than Wheeljack. Wheeljack, you handsome devil, you. <laughs> so for this deco, we actually uh, we did a lot of weathering. So in the animation, there's actually a lot of like battle damage, a lot of war-torn imagery it's he it, it's actually came out really one. cool i mean the, the wheeljack figure weathering. in itself is actually really awesome i, I enjoyed uh, playing with it thoroughly the weapon that becomes the shoulder blaster and the handheld action mm. what also has the five millimeter port that you can kind of just like mix to match with all the other weaponizers and stuff across the line it's just it's it's great to be a transformers fan right now Definitely. So the oh third gosh. deluxe mm -hmm. figure we have in Wave 2 is one of our favorite medics, uh, Red Alert. Ooh, Red Alert. I love the see, fact that we looks, have the blaster the with the light bar that has, like, you know, the hatchet fireman right. vibes. It's kind of awesome. Uh, the deck for this is actually really battle-damaged and war-torn as well. He's He's got some really, really uh, nice burned-out weathering so it's kind of cool as you can see in his front fenders that there to me the Netflix all the blast damage have, like, this came out really nice in production i'm actually yeah. really excited for this the great uh so the next deluxe figure we have for you guys is impactor okay third or third impactor, impactor yeah see, another such a good character <laughs> impactor the deco that we ended up going with See, Impactor. I have, I have the Obviously, Amazon one, and I have it, uh, the, duplicates what was um, seen on the animation. But we really, really gave him so like a, a darker color scheme, along with a lot of like lighter yellows and that yellowish orange that's classic to the character. Some purple metallics. This came out really good, and then the his alt mode, the little Cybertroni and hover tank there, is just such yeah, power. Yeah, it's a pass. Yeah, I love that sweet. thing. Yeah, yeah, super awesome. All right, so we of course are saving the best deluxe figure for last, and we have a Netflix 3D character turn to show you guys and help us reveal this last deluxe figure in Wave Two. That's right, folks. Bumblebee! Sure, Bumblebee in his Earthrise mode. Look at this guy. He is so... He's yes! Like, I'm so excited. Like oh, man, he's beautiful. amazing version that just jumped out of the G1 cartoon. That's what I'm looking at right now, and I'm Told so... Told you the best was for last one. Yes, I am yes, so yes, happy yes, yes. about this. He, I'm the, waiting the for question, Bumblebee. The question that everybody is asking themselves right now, though, is he a Volkswagen buggy? Is he a Volkswagen buggy? Yes, he is. Yay! Show that. Oh, Sweet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's he crazy. is beautiful. With the bazooka, he's a partial off a cliff jumper, but he's still glorious in his own way. He has the blue the translucent feet are different. The, bottom the, the, to give the him the cartoon size different. vibes. The, oh, man. I mean, man. it's really all about that vehicle mode. Be it's is really beautiful. all about that vehicle mode. The conversion is sweet. Oh, and there's the huge cannon that he comes with. I love, and then you can even put the little little skis on the front of the tires. 
TT, our partner, is out in Takara. Oh, they did a man. great job as well. Uh, oh, I'm so we excited. Like so excited. So on happy like that we finally get version, but like the regular version. Earth Rise Bumblebee. Oh, the classic I'm so scout. excited. Yes. Um, so one of my favorite features from the Deluxe uh, Waves 1 and 2 is that each item comes with a piece of the Teletran 1 backdrop. So if you see here on the screen, I don't know if you guys know about this, but there is one piece of the Teletran 1 included with every Deluxe figure. So as you can see here, we have Wave 1 on top and then Wave 2 on the bottom. So if you collect all 10 pieces, you can assemble your own Teletran 1 diorama at home. We have five, five oh, figures are revealed. So I want like, a little yeah. Teletran 1 so I can pose my figures out next to it. Yeah, and it's in scale with deluxe figures, uh, so it would be perfect. Um, we'd love to see your guys' pictures, so please tag us. Um, with your figures posed out in front of Teletran yeah, 1, uh, we'd love to be able for, to repost those. Uh, yep, Earth constantly guys. surfing yeah, on for, those. Uh, I, love the, <laughs> <laughs> I love all the custom builds everyone's doing for all the weaponizers on the siege line. It's really cool. The ball yeah. being a leader definitely buys So me. all uh, Netflix collection deluxe figures will be available for pre-order starting today at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on exactly. Walmart via a dedicated link that will be shared on our Transformers social channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that Walmart link. Sweet. All right, Mark, we're moving on to the Voyager 3-packs. So we have two new ones to reveal uh, to you guys today from Wave 2. And the first is Voyager, Optimus Prime, and two Battlemaster figures. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, the Battlemaster figures, Anorex and uh, Sheldron. These That's guys right. came up really cool, yeah. So you obviously have the classic Voyager Optimus, who's very poseable. The sculpt on him is gorgeous. Uh, I love this Optimus. I love how the cannon looks. He's just so G1. Feels so good. <laughs> Feels so good to see Optimus in his G1 too. truck, flat face truck. I mean, uh, the metallic hits on him, the the, the translucent the, uh, tint is very nice. I mean, this is a great, the, uh, great figure. Yeah, we actually have um, a 3D turn actually, the, uh, from Netflix to show you guys of Optimus, robot and vehicle mode. Wow, look at him. Oh, I guess Based it is on the, the Siege uh, model. I guess it That's is the, beautiful. Uh, Siege version. Yeah. Polygon. With really metallic. I have the metallic here. Gun you know, from, Rooster so Teeth was might such a good be a decision here. One, actually. <laughs> I'm loving what I'm seeing. Look at all that battle damage. Oh, we're going to have to we might have to try to get some more of that going on. <laughs> All right, I think this guy comes with two battle masters, so why don't you talk about those? <laughs> yes, Anorax, the little pterodactyl that turns into the golden axe. It's, so it's translucent, so he's going to be kind of like, you know, what you want for your gotcha. G1 Optimus, which is the glowing orange-yellow axe that he usually it's has. It's come with a mace. basically Energon. And that is the very clever. guy Sheldron, who can turn into like a little shield for him. So Optimus will be weaponed up with the shield and the axe that are both Energon. Created. Awesome. I like that. Not, so the second the and final Voyager 3-pack of Wave 2 is the Sly Communications Officer, none other than Soundwave. So this is really cool because uh, this is his classic look he does not have any of the battle damage because it's his earth rise look we tried to give him and bumblebee the earth rise looks without the battle damage so you can kind of have them kind of clean so it's it earth rise sound wave the transformation on <gasps> oh my god tape cassette player mode i mean you really want to pop it out laser beak and ravage as soon as you get this mode going i mean it's just it's just a cool update this little ravage is awesome ah! the transformation on it is really sweet he's got some nice silver hits to him he's actually got some pretty good articulation no foil labels but we got the nice silver hits river is excited for sound wave too better, aren't you river foil labels and we also oh have my gosh uh, the little spy oh my gosh. vulture <laughs> i love this guy. <laughs> The Netflix collection Voyager 3-packs 
are both available for pre-order starting today at 11 a.m. Yes, I got to get that sound way. Oh, my gosh. We'll be sure to share that link on our Transformers social channel. So stay tuned in a little bit Sneaky for that Sneaky Hasbro. All right. Now Not to round out rise. wave two of the Netflix collection, we have one new leader unboxing spoiler pack to share with you guys. Uh, we, of course, can't tell you too much about Man, this pack because so it contains dumb. spoilers from the Netflix show. But that package design is glorious. As you can see, spoilers are inside, so um, all we can tell you is that there will be a leader figure, some battle masters, accessories, and some surprises, why not, hidden in dough. <laughs> yeah, you gotta dig out the, the surprises in the dough. I love that. I mean, I, I really like that last item that we did, the Ultra Magnus, that had all the blast See, damage all over him. For like that $3 was, and I, 60, I'm sure it's going on, to be somewhat so on par with that. Class gonna be, and uh, uh, shout out to our brand writer, Amanda. She is Ashley awesome, Kennedy. and she is a huge Transformers fan herself. I go to her with any Transformers you know, knowledge I need updated on. She's the best. <laughs> uh, she, what did you say, Mark? You agree? Nerd out quite a bit. Yep. Um, but she helped us a lot on this pack. She actually read right through the Netflix script and included a few Cybertronian messages that you guys uh, will have to decode on the inside panel of the box. So we know you guys all love to be the first to reveal Transformers news. This item is for you. So make sure you get your hands on this toy so that you can be the first to decode those Cybertronian spoiler messages. That's very cool. Yeah, and this, uh, this item's available for pre-order at 11 a.m. via that Walmart dedicated link. So make sure you check it out on our Transformers uh, official Instagram page for all the details. And make sure you drop some comments below as to who do you think is inside that unboxing skew. Be yeah, I'd love to see that. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have some pretty good guesses. <laughs> All right, Mark, next up, we of course have three new Gen Selects figures to reveal today. Yeah. Yes, unfortunately, though. The first two won't be much of a surprise because you guys beat us to the punch. Yep, they actually. I know. So yeah, this is an amazing character, though. Look at this thing. Exhaust, I okay. love this vehicle mode. I mean, he's a partial off of Wheeljack, but yeah. So all the tampos that he has look great. The uh, some of the the tampos, the bandit and the exhaust. That's a little Johnny Warden secret on the exhaust. And you got to ask Johnny Warden. But you can see there his head sculpt right there is brand new. Looks great. Still has the shoulder blaster that can be held as a handgun. Not a lot known about exhaust, but he does sport the mercenary logo on his chest. So that's Mark, brand new to the toys. Mark, you have this figure at home, right? I do. I've Let's been playing see it. with them. I've been I've been converting them. Oh, I couldn't see it. There we go. There he is in all of his wonderful glory there. You can see as, so this will be the first time that we do do the mercenary logo there, which wow. is kind of cool. I like it. It's very, very trendy. He's got yeah. that cool visor. Uh, yeah, the visor, new visors are the theme today, it sounds like. New visors are, <laughs> it's all about visors if you want to be a Transformer nut, right? <laughs> you can see some cool uh, tampos. He's very poseable, good articulation. I even have uh, his vehicle mode here that I had a pleasure in transforming. Talk about smooth oh, like transitioning smooth right here. Yeah, that looks sweet. He's got the 598 on the side. He's got his little turbo boosters on the back to shoot out the smoking hot exhaust. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a beauteous character here. Yeah. Love it. I had a blast. Yeah, uh, yeah exhaust great. and grease pit were so the revealed next gen selects ago. figure, which was also already revealed on fan forums last week, accompanied by some amazing pictures. By the way, I loved the MicroMaster driving on the battle station. Uh, shout out to whatever fan took those images because they were great. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you're hired. <laughs> All right, next Gen Selects figure we have is Grease Pit. Oh, uh, it is so cool. I love I love that we actually did this character. Grease Pit is so cool. Uh, it is a redeco of uh, Ironworks, but he also comes with a lot of new new pieces, which makes him very unique. His head. It's one and his deco scheme is gleaming. I mean, the the combination of colors is gorgeous because it has like these purple metallic hits on his chest. Let me uh, try to see if I can catch you on there. You see yeah. how the blue visor? Yeah, this deco scheme is awesome. This uh, whole. This whole tampo art came out so clean, so awesome. And he's very, very poseable. He still splits apart, and you make him into a weaponizer. And battle, uh, and uh, weaponizer got your figures up. So here's the little gas station mode here, which is cool. So this is a new piece here, your little pumps. This is a new piece here with, I can't, can you really read that? It says gasoline Z1. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, to the gasoline. I even uh, brought another one home just because I had so much fun playing with this guy, and I made him uh, the tower, which is kind of oh, nice. just kind of dope that he's got the third mode. He's even got another fourth mode that I did not get to, but <laughs> this is pretty <laughs> sweet. Didn't have the time for that one. <laughs> Didn't have the time for that one, but. I will be doing that on my free time, for sure. <laughs> nice. Well, we all know what Mark's going to be doing this weekend. <laughs> all right. Now we have the final Gen Selects reveal. We know you guys are going to be surprised Bug with this bite? figure. Mark, drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> we have Deluxe Hubcap. Hubcap. Yes. Hubcap. Look at him. Look at him in his stubby glory. I love this He's figure. Cute. Come on. I remember one of my friends had seen, a hubcap uh, when I was younger, and I was just like, like, wait a second. See, uh, I, was like, I was like, what is this guy? Yeah, I, thought it was, I thought it was Bumblebee, and then he got all he got all mad at me. He's like, no, it's hubcap. This guy's sweet. He's got the orange face. I can't believe we're making him. It's so awesome. He's a partial off of the cliff cute. jumper mold as well. He still so comes with the awesome more, huge bazooka uh, blaster so that has use. many different modes. It splits apart. He has a, a shield for the back of his whip that becomes a shield. This head sculpt is so sweet, though. He's got the big crown crest on top. Look at that big, huge blaster. Okay. Come I on, even guys. transformed the blaster into this sweet, like, club oh, sword right stuff. here that he can hold, yeah. which is oh. amazing, right? And then, the best part, though, is what gives me the chili willies here is this sweet alt mode. The conversion on this guy it's is same smooth, cliff jumper. but it's all about those front skis. Uh, for those you who don't call know, up um, Hubcap was the, you know, the Autobot communication specialist. <laughs> <in the blasters. laughs> well, I mean, how could I not? Of course not. I get to be the first guy with my hands on these. How, how could I not love them? Lucky you. <laughs> Well, you can, be on, you can be, be on the next live stream. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be able to get these things, though. That's what's great about this. Yeah. So all three of these Gen Selects uh, figures, Exhaust, Grease Pit, and Hubcap, will be available to purchase at 11 a.m. Eastern new, Standard uh, Time on Hasbro Pulse, as well as other fan site retailers. So next up, we have two cool new Amazon items to reveal. It's an Earthrise battle with these two packs. We have the Autobot Alliance and the Seeker Elite. Let's check out the Earthrise Seeker two-pack first, which features Ramjet and Dirge. Ooh, the cone heads, huh? The cone. We're making the cone heads. Of course we are. <laughs> So the Earthrise modes for the cone heads, but they they have partials, so they have their their classic wings. Yes, they do. <laughs> but Ramjet and Dirge are great. I mean, Ramjet obviously is the leader of the cone heads. He looks amazing in his white jumpsuit, <laughs> and so does Dirge, ready for battle. <laughs> Can't wait to see him in the animation. Do they make appearances in the animation? I will see. 
Next up is the Earthrise Earth Mode 2-pack, which features Deluxe Ironhide and Deluxe Prowl. Ooh, Earth I got those on free order already. Yes. So I actually <laughs> talked to Johnny Warden about the Ironhide, and I got so excited because he did say that the Earth Mode Ironhide has a throwback to the G1 days, so the top of his car. Oh man, the back of the back of the like box is so cool. Hoverboard, just like it's back in the day with the little this morning. I haven't stand up left. gun I turret. Just, uh, uh, you can even the turn week, the top but... of his car into a shield oh, man, along beautiful. with a blaster, so there's like three modes for that one new partial piece, which is amazing. And Prowl. I can't believe we're doing this Earthrise Prowl either because he looks Give great. Me a lot then so he's a partial one. off of the Siege Prowl, and you can see a couple of the new parts that really make him unique. He still comes with his nice little blaster, but it's all about that red head crest. Right. The, the vehicle mode is great. Oh, yeah, beautiful. he has that new smaller front bumper too, right? A smaller front bumper as well as that new head that I do yep. love, that classic look. <laughs> Awesome. So what's also really cool about these packs is that they're from the same Earthrise scene. So as you can see here, uh, you have the Autobot Alliance on the ground and then the Seeker Elite in the air. So if you collect both of these, you can complete the battle scene. So both of these items are available for pre-order starting today at 11 a.m. Uh, on Amazon via a dedicated link that will be shared out on our Transformers social channel. So stay tuned in a little bit for that Amazon link. All right, fans, we are saving the item we are most excited about for last. It was just revealed on comicbook.com, the Generations Convention exclusive, the Quintesson Pit of Judgment Bipack. Yes, so excited. <laughs> So Mark and I wanted to remind everyone of the iconic scene right from the 1986 movie. So let's roll the clip. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I have. Guilty or innocent? Spare me this mockery of justice. I repeat, guilty or innocent? Innocent. Feed him to the shark to God. There he goes. Ah, there goes Kranix. Oh, feast. Such a good scene. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. You guys, we're such good voice actors. <laughs> <laughs> my calling in life, I could have clearly been that prosecutor. Someone should have gave me a call. Yep, I'm the judge. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, now you can serve up your own justice at home with the Quintesson Pit of Judgment 5-Pack. Uh, we know you guys saw these images in the press release, but Mark actually has these figures in hand to walk you through today. Oh, my God. Look at the beautiful sculpted detail of this Kranix. Nice tampo hits, nice spray ops. I mean, the sculpt detail on him came out marvelous. I always wanted a Kranix figure. We're going to have to redeco this guy as a Mobulus. It's a slug figure, so he, he does not have any uh, movability, but mm. he's the perfect size. The perfect size. Shark to gun. <laughs> For Sharticon Bay, you know you want to do this every day of your life. Because <laughs> that's what I want to do. Look at that. Come on. So the Sharticon I'm surprised they're using the Tangy is, Turn uh, mode again. A redeco of a, a gnaw that we've done in the past. But the colors were inspired by one of the, the Floro Dairies um, concept art. Mm. Without the pinkish red front, I mean, this uh, he actually has a lot of articulation in his jaw, which is really nice. And the translucent eyes are just that classic Sharkticon bit. And he also has the removable tail that becomes a weapon. I actually have him as a robot, which I posed him out in all of his glory here. They don't have too many lines, uh, the Sharticons, but they are fierce, fierce, chomping maniacs. <laughs> uh, 
the prosecutor. Are you kidding me? Look at the tentacle arms. You know what's really great about this figure that I ended up learning as I, I, I played with him a little bit? He has complete articulation in his head, which is really cool. And he's got a blast effect because he does all the Quintesson dudes have like, you know, a floating technique there, but they got the little blast effect. So this is a five millimeter port that can be stuck onto all the other figures, which is really oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so let's let's uh, take a trip over to his the bailiff, which yeah. was also never made. Look at this guy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I mean, I just want to spin this guy on a turntable. <laughs> Let you admire so him, a lot of these I mean, are based on the floor. Do you artwork? The, the color the deco kind of a little bit off. This guy is just fantastic. Really cool. Cool for a Full on set. movability in his jaw. Definitely can fit Cranix in there. You might even be able to fit like some deluxes in there. I mean, there's a lot of room in here. Look at that. Great art. Has the ankle rockers. I mean, you really can get some really nice poses with this guy. He's a re uh, he's a partial off of the Alicon, and I'll show you that the new parts really make him glorious here. There he is. Look at that. Awesome. Right? Look at that metallic op on that face mask. Whew. And then he even has the weapon that I split apart here just because it's, it looks really cool, the weapon, but he's got, this does connect. He is amazing, that and it looks like. Voila, you have an awesome weapon to weaponize your guys up, but yeah, this, this guy is just amazing. Yeah, we got one more, Quintesson Judge. For the first time ever. I left it on the face that I like the most, of course, because he has the movable jaw. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Innocent. <laughs> hey, that's my line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he also has the switch here. You see where I'm pointing right here? So he has the ability to switch faces. I love that. I mean, so you can do your classic laugh that you were doing before for all the guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll save that for next time. <laughs> but even, look at this small detail here. This is amazing. You can even fit the little blaster weapon as one of his tentacles. Come on. This is a clear uh, translucent piece. It actually has a little lever on it that you can detach. And he also has a jail cell inside. We never really see the Quintesson transform, obviously, you know? But we came up with a very, very cool transform here. It's like something that could be connected to the rest of your dioramas that you're building with all your other characters, which is really cool. Yeah, the modular battle station. Yes. That's that connector I remember they're going to talk about Kim yep. And Mark, we didn't even talk about the packaging yet. <laughs> oh, that's right. The diorama that you can build in the packaging is insane. Shout, yeah, out, to sh shout out to our packaging engineer, AJ, Ooh. on this one. This came out incredible. This thing is incredible. Look at that photo right there. I mean, talk about wanting to we fill up it. a scene like and play out the scene. You could have anybody on that diving board that's ready to be fed to the Sharktacons. Anybody. Come party. Come on, you can get see on. the cool uh, illustration on the back there. Even the instructions are amazing. I mean, how, how often can you say instructions so are amazing? That's, I mean, that just doesn't happen. Uh, <laughs> if I get it, I might not uh, open Very, it, very cool item. It's a must-have. Must must-have. Must-have. Um, must so this item is exclusively available on Hasbro Pulse in the U.S. and Canada in September of this year. So stay tuned for more details on how you can get your hands on the Quintesson Pit of Judgment 5-pack. And Mark, I think that's a wrap. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us today. And you know what's crazy? Mark has a has a double header. So if you're a GI, yeah, you do. So go get your coffee. You're gonna be right back. So nothing on Kingdom. Um, 
back in for some more Fan First Friday action, guys. Have a good weekend. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me for my reaction on Fan First Friday for Transformers. I'm so excited for a handful of these figures. Um, so comment down below and let me know which figures you're going to get from these reveals. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.